Hey hey, today we are going to solve another SQL interview question. So let's just jump right into the problem definition. This question was asked back in 2019 in interviews by Salesforce and also by Glassdoor. Now what we want to do here is that we have a database of employees from a certain company and what we should do is that we want to compare each of these employees salaries with the average salary of the corresponding department in which this person is working. Now we at the end we need to output the department, the first name, the salary of the respective employee and the average salary of the department. So this is the data that we have. We already have the first name, we have the department and we have also the salary. The only thing that's missing is the average salary for each department. Let's say that we just wanted to um, compute that. To do that, we could have just simply grouped the uh, results or basically group the data based on the department. Then we also have the, uh, we would like to return the department's name and the average salary in that department. This would look something like this. So we now have a list of all the departments together with the average salaries in each one of them. We can also treat the results of this query as a table itself, then join it with the employee table and then we would already have all of the information that we need to solve this question. Let's do just that. Let's save it as a table. Let's call it department averages. Let's also give this column a name as average salary. Perfect. First, let's select all of the columns from the employee table, join it with the table that we have here, and we're going to join them on the departments. So let's check how the results would look like. This is the result. The average salary would be the final column. And now we just need to choose the columns that we want to return. So we want the department column. We can choose it from either of the tables. Then we need the first name, the salary of this person, and also the average salary in the department in which the person is working. Now let's check the results. So this is how it uh, looks like and it's already the solution that we need for this um, basically this question let's just check it and that's correct meaning that we have solved the puzzle um, completely now I would uh, also post the code on my website and share a link to that in the captions of this video with that this tutorial would also come to an end thanks a lot for watching and see you in my next tutorial